quite a number of them who have raised that to be paying attention to people who have evaded land and formed informal settlements and we do not take care of them because they remain law abiding citizens. They've been staying in their families' how homes, they've applied for RDP houses that have not been allocated, but there have been quite a number of issues that they are raising, uh, some allegations of officials who are taking bribes, asking for money for being allocated houses. Secondly, um, allegations of foreign nationals who are occupying government subsidized houses. Um, so it was part of clarifying our process as government, how we work, what are the rules, what are not the rules, but also to alert communities because it seems within Johannesburg there's huge scams that are running where people are taking money from potential beneficiaries, where people will say, I've received an allocation, and then they say, pay 5,000 for you to get into the house. Or they get to say, in order for you to quickly move in the list, pay 1,000, and people are falling into those schemes. So part of our communication was to ensure that people know that they don't have to fall for those schemes. But what we have done, and I'm appreciative to my colleagues in cabinet, because I did write to them to say, we'll have this in Bizo, and they can support us in terms of bringing services because this is part of what uh, bringing government to the people is about. Bringing services, so you've got NYDA, you've got Home Affairs, you've got uh, SASA and Social Development, you've got Tourism, you've got Small Development Businesses Departments who are on site assisting communities about information, opportunities that exist and what people can be able to benefit from government.